Welcome to our fascinating journey into the world of plant biology. Today, we are going to explore a phenomenon that has intrigued scientists and nature enthusiasts alike for centuries, phototropism. Have you ever wondered why plants always seem to reach for the sun? Why do they bend and twist in pursuit of its life-giving rays? Phototropism is the remarkable mechanism behind these movements. It's the story of how plants respond to the sun's embrace, orchestrating their growth in a dance with light. In this video, we will unravel the secrets of phototropism, exploring its intricate biology and the vital role it plays in the life of every green organism on our planet. We will dive deep into the molecular processes, uncover the hormones at play, and understand the genetic choreography that allows plants to master this ancient art of light seeking. But phototropism isn't just a scientific marvel, it's a crucial survival strategy for plants. We will discover how it helps them thrive in competitive environments, support climbing plants, and even protect themselves from harmful radiation. So, join us on this enlightening journey through the science and wonder of phototropism, where plants reach for the stars, or, in their case, the sun in their quest for life and growth. Phototropism refers to the directional growth exhibited by photosynthesizing organisms, predominantly plants, in response to light stimuli. This phenomenon is crucial for autotrophic organisms, such as plants, which rely on photosynthesis to synthesize their own nutrients. Through the intricate process of photosynthesis, these organisms transform light, water, and carbon dioxide into essential sugars, facilitating both energy production and growth. Given that plants are sessile by nature, they lack the ability to relocate in search of optimal light conditions. As a compensatory mechanism, they employ phototropism to optimize light absorption through their leaves. This adaptive response ensures that they harness maximum light energy for photosynthesis, thereby promoting their survival and growth. There are two primary types of phototropism, positive and negative. Positive phototropism is characterized by growth towards a light source, a behavior commonly observed in plant shoots. Conversely, negative phototropism, sometimes termed aphototropism, results in growth away from the light. It's noteworthy that plant roots predominantly exhibit negative phototropism, though they also demonstrate gravitropism, a growth response to the Earth's gravitational force. At a cellular level, the mechanism underlying phototropism involves the hormone auxin. Cells located on the side of the plant distal to the light source have a higher concentration of auxin. This differential auxin distribution leads to elongation of these cells, causing the plant to bend towards the light. Phototropism is one among various tropisms in plants, which are growth responses to specific external stimuli. It's essential to differentiate between negative phototropism and scototropism. While the former pertains to growth away from light, the latter specifically denotes growth towards darkness. The majority of plant shoots display positive phototropism and adjust their chloroplasts within leaves to optimize photosynthetic efficiency. However, certain wine shoot tips manifest negative phototropism, enabling them to approach and climb solid, dark objects. The synergistic effects of both phototropism and gravitropism ensure that plants orient and grow in directions most beneficial to their survival and growth. Now we will talk about mechanism of phototropism. How does phototropism work? Phototropism is a complex physiological process in plants, driven by intricate molecular mechanisms that enable them to orient towards a light source. This phenomenon is orchestrated by a series of signaling molecules, genes, and hormones that collectively guide the plant's growth direction in response to light. Light sensing and coleoptile's role, the coleoptile, the plant's apex, plays a pivotal role in sensing light. It is within the central region of the coleoptile that the curvature, indicative of phototropic response, manifests. Colodny-Went hypothesis 
a foundational theory in understanding phototropism, the Colodny went hypothesis posits that when a plant is exposed to asymmetrical light, the hormone auxin migrates towards the shaded side. This migration results in the elongation of cells on the shaded side, causing the plant to curve towards the light. Role of auxins Auxins are central to the phototropic response. They activate proton pumps, leading to a decrease in pH within the cells on the plant's shaded side. This acidification triggers enzymes called expansins, which weaken the cell wall's hydrogen bonds, rendering it more flexible. Concurrently, the heightened proton pump activity causes an influx of solutes into these cells, amplifying the osmotic gradient. This results in water entering the cells, increasing turgor pressure, and ultimately driving the phototropic movement. Pink genes and auxin transport Pink genes encode proteins that are instrumental in phototropism. These proteins, particularly PIN3, are auxin transporters responsible for determining auxin spatial distribution. The phototropins, upon receiving light, potentially inhibit the pinoid kinsei, promoting PIN3 activity. This cascade leads to an asymmetric auxin distribution, culminating in the stem's asymmetric cell elongation. Phototropins and their expression Phototropins, specifically FOT1 and FOT2, are expressed predominantly in the coleoptile's upper region. While FOT2 mutants exhibit typical phototropic responses, the absence of both FOT1 and FOT2 nullifies any phototropic reaction. The expression levels of these phototropins vary with the plant's age and light intensity, underscoring their dynamic role in phototropism. Chloroplast rearrangement Mature leaves house chloroplasts vital for photosynthesis. These chloroplasts reposition themselves in varying light conditions to optimize photosynthesis. Genes like NPH1 and NPL1 play a role in this rearrangement and, by extension, in phototropism. Involvement of AGC kinases Recent research highlights the role of multiple AGC kinases in phototropism. These kinases, including pinoid, D6PK, and their homologues, modulate auxin transport and are activated by PDK1.1 and PDK1.2. These kinases appear to operate at different stages of the phototropic response, with some having a broader phosphorylation spectrum than others. Now we will talk about models of auxin distribution in phototropism. Auxin, a pivotal plant hormone, plays a central role in the phototropic response of plants, guiding their growth direction in relation to light. In 2012, Sakai and Haga presented an in-depth exploration of the differential auxin concentrations on the illuminated and shaded sides of the stem, which underpin this response. Using Arabidopsis thaliana as a model organism, they proposed five distinct models elucidating the dynamics of auxin transport during phototropism. Deactivation model The first model posits that direct exposure to light results in the deactivation of auxin on the illuminated side of the plant. Consequently, the shaded side retains active auxin, promoting its growth and causing the plant to bend towards the light source. Inhibition of biosynthesis model the second model suggests that light acts as an inhibitor of auxin biosynthesis on its exposed side. This leads to a relative decrease in auxin concentration on the illuminated side compared to the shaded side, which remains unaffected. Horizontal auxin flow model According to the third model, auxin flows horizontally from both the illuminated and shaded sides of the plant. When exposed to light, there is an enhanced flow of auxin from the illuminated side to the shaded side. This increased auxin concentration on the shaded side fosters its growth, resulting in the plant's curvature towards the light. Inhibition of Bacipetal Flow Model The fourth model illustrates that light exposure inhibits the bacipetal, downward, flow of auxin on the illuminated side. This causes auxin to predominantly flow down the shaded side, promoting its growth. Combined flow model, the fifth model integrates elements from both the third and fourth models. 
It envisions a primary vertical oxen flow from the plant's apex towards its base, with a secondary horizontal flow branching out to both sides of the plant. Exposure to light inhibits the horizontal flow towards the illuminated side, resulting in an asymmetric oxen distribution. Sakai and Haga's research indicates that this fifth model aligns most closely with the observed oxen distribution patterns and the subsequent phototropic response in hypocotyls. Now we will talk about the types of phototropism. Phototropism is a growth movement in plants that is instigated by light stimuli. Depending on the direction of growth in relation to the light source, phototropism is categorized into two primary types. Positive phototropism. This type of phototropism is characterized by the movement or orientation of plant parts, particularly the shoot system, towards the light source. Such a response ensures that the plant maximizes its exposure to light, which is essential for processes like photosynthesis. In essence, positive phototropism facilitates the plant's ability to harness light energy more efficiently. Negative phototropism Contrary to positive phototropism, negative phototropism involves the movement or orientation of plant parts, specifically the root system, away from the light source. This response ensures that roots grow deeper into the soil, seeking nutrients and anchoring the plant securely. By moving away from light, the roots are better positioned to fulfill their primary functions in nutrient absorption and anchorage. In summary, the dual nature of phototropism, encompassing both positive and negative responses, highlights the plant's adaptive strategies to optimize its growth and survival in varying light conditions. Now we will talk about the role of phototropins and auxins in phototropism. Phototropism is a growth response in plants that is directed by light stimuli. Two primary molecules, phototropins and auxins, play pivotal roles in this process, ensuring that plants optimize their growth in relation to light sources. Phototropins Phototropins are specialized photoreceptors that predominantly absorb light in the blue spectrum. These molecules are particularly sensitive to variations in light intensity and direction. There are two primary types of phototropins in higher plants, FOT1 and FOT2. Their activity is contingent on the intensity of blue light. Under low-intensity blue light, FOT1 is predominantly active. However, when exposed to high-intensity blue light, both FOT1 and FOT2 function in tandem, exhibiting redundant activity. The primary roles of phototropins encompass a range of physiological processes, including stomatal opening, photosynthetic exchange, chloroplast movement, and the expansion of leaf blades and cotyledons. Their activity varies based on light exposure. They are more active and absorb more light in regions with higher light intensity, while in shaded or darker regions, their activity diminishes. Auxins Auxins are plant growth hormones, with a high concentration typically found in the plant's tip, known as the coleoptile. The distribution of auxins is influenced by the activity of phototropins. When a plant is exposed to sunlight, the unequal distribution of phototropins leads to an asymmetric transport of auxins. Specifically, there is a greater migration of auxins towards the darker side of the coleoptile compared to the illuminated side. This differential auxin distribution has a direct impact on growth. The elevated auxin concentration on the darker side promotes cell elongation, resulting in enhanced growth in that region. Consequently, the plant exhibits a bending movement towards the light source, optimizing its exposure to light for processes like photosynthesis. In essence, the coordinated actions of phototropins and auxins underpin the phototropic response in plants, ensuring that they adapt and grow optimally in varying light conditions. Now we will talk about the importance of phototropism. Optimal light absorption Phototropism ensures that plants grow towards the light, maximizing their exposure to sunlight. 
This is crucial for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy to fuel their growth. Enhanced growth and development By orienting themselves towards light sources, plants can optimize their growth rates and overall health. Adequate light is essential for various physiological processes in plants. Reproductive success For flowering plants, optimal light exposure can enhance flower and fruit production. This can lead to a higher chance of successful pollination and seed dispersal. Survival in competitive environments In densely populated areas, plants compete for sunlight. Phototropism allows plants to grow in directions where light is most abundant, giving them a competitive advantage over other plants. Efficient energy utilization By growing towards light sources, plants can ensure they are using their energy reserves efficiently. This is especially important for young plants that have limited energy stored in their seeds. Adaptation to changing environments Phototropism allows plants to adapt to changing light conditions. For instance, if a larger plant or structure shades a plant, phototropic responses can help it reorient its growth to access available light. Support for climbing plants Climbing plants, like vines, use phototropism to grow towards structures they can cling to. Once they reach these structures, they can grow upwards, getting closer to light sources. Root development Negative phototropism in roots ensures that they grow away from light and deeper into the soil. This helps in anchoring the plant and accessing essential nutrients and water. Protection from harmful radiation While plants need sunlight for photosynthesis, excessive exposure to UV radiation can be harmful. Phototropism can help regulate the amount of light a plant receives, protecting it from potential light-induced damage. Evolutionary Advantage Over time, the ability to respond to light has provided plants with an evolutionary advantage, allowing them to thrive in diverse environments with varying light conditions. In summary, phototropism plays a vital role in the life cycle of plants, influencing their growth, health, reproductive success, and overall survival. It is a testament to the intricate ways in which plants interact with and adapt to their environment. Let's look at an example of phototropism with sunflowers. Sunflowers are quintessential examples of phototropism in the plant kingdom. These plants exhibit a unique behavior known as solar tracking. Throughout the day, sunflower heads follow the sun's trajectory from the east to the west. Remarkably, during nighttime, they reorient themselves from west to east, preparing to track the sun once again at dawn. This behavior is not merely a fascinating display but is rooted in the plant's survival strategy. Sunflowers have a heightened requirement for sunlight, which is essential for their growth, fruiting, and flowering. This increased dependency on sunlight likely drives their daily solar tracking activity, ensuring they capture maximum light for photosynthesis and other vital processes. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe us for more video. You can read the detailed lecture note of this video from our website. Just go to Google and search phototropism microbiologinote.com. The first link will be your lecture note. Thank you.